Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen previously what are the modes of heat transfer that is conduction, convection and radiation. In this topic, we are going to talk elaborately about the conduction. In this topic, we are going to talk about the mechanism of heat transfer by conduction. So we have seen previously, conduction is the heat transfer due to the direct contact. So if there is a direct contact between the two body, most probably we will have a heat transfer by conduction only. So there are two ways, microscopically there are two ways by which the heat transfer may takes place the first one is the molecular vibration or the molecular movement and the second one is by the free electron so you will see that in solids we have metals then alloys few non metals crystals or other fluids in this kind of substances, the predominant mechanism of heat transfer by conduction is only possible either of these two reasons. Firstly, either by the free movement of the molecules or the vibrational movement of the molecules or the free electrons of the molecules. In case of metal, all of you know that the available free electrons are quite high. That is why the electrical conductivity of the metal is high and so is the thermal conductivity of the metal also is very high. In case of alloy, because of the presence of impurities, the electrical conductivity may be lower and so is the thermal conductivity. In case of non-metal, mostly the heat transfer is possible due to the molecular vibration. And in case of crystal also, since the arrangement of the lattice structure in case of crystal is very distorted that is why the probability of the heat transfer or the quantity of heat transfer by the molecular vibration is very high in case of crystals. In case of fluids also mostly the heat transfer can be due to the molecular vibration or because of the free electron. Now this will depend on so many other parameters. So we have seen that the thermal conductivity can be written as the thermal conductivity due to the molecular vibration or due to the free electron. Now in some cases Km is higher than the Ke. Now these are mostly the non-metals. In some cases the Km is higher than the Ke so these are generally the non-metals and in some cases Ke is more than Km where if the presence of free electrons are very high then the thermal conductivity or the electrical conductivity of the metal will be very high. Now this is the case for most of the metals. Now let us look at the mechanism of heat transfer by conduction due to the molecular vibration precisely. Let us take a small example that this is a let's say some metal bar now the one end is holded by you and the other end is let's say we are going to heat this part by some source let's say so what will happen obviously the temperature at this part initially the temperature is same throughout let's say the temperature is t initially now then as this part is getting heated what is happening the molecules here now they are under the continuous vibratory motion since the energy is getting transferred from this source to the metal the kinetic energy of the molecule will increase so if suppose initially let's say this is a molecule initially we had this much of vibrational energy now this will maybe it will increase to somewhere to this extent so this is basically the molecular vibration initially my amplitude was only this much this has increased to some higher level over here now there are some other molecules adjacent to it let's say this is the colder molecule adjacent to it 
but they are in direct contact with each other. Now what will happen since the first layer is having higher energy initially this also had the same sort of a vibratory motion so only this much was the vibratory motion. Now what will happen since the first molecule let me write this is the first molecule and this is let's say a second molecule. The first molecule is having higher vibratory motion this will obviously going to collide with the second molecule and then the energy is getting transferred by, by the change in momentum. Now this energy because of the transfer of energy from molecule 1 to the molecule 2 the molecule 2 also will experience slightly higher amplitude of vibration. Now this amplitude of vibration may not be equal to the first one it will be slightly decreasing but it will be more than what it had previously. So basically the kinetic energy of the first molecule is increased. So this will in turn increase the kinetic energy of the second molecule and it will keep on going till the the temperature or the kinetic energy of the molecule is increased to the third section. Now all of you know that temperature is nothing but average kinetic energy of molecules. Now since here the average kinetic energy of molecule is increased, the temperature must increase. So this is what is happening. You will find that the T1 will be higher as compared to T2 which will be higher as compared to T3. So the energy is getting dissipated from this source and it will keep on decreasing till it reach to T3. But after a certain period of time, once the steady state is reached, we can say that throughout the solid body, the temperature will be same. Now here we try to describe about the microscopic approach of heat transfer. So we talked about how does the conduction takes place in this case at the molecular level. Similarly, we can talk about the heat transfer by free electron. Now because of the existence of free electron to the outer orbit in case of metal, those free electrons can travel from one part to another part by carrying the heat in the form of again kinetic energy. So this is all about the mechanism of heat transfer we have seen here. Basically there are two ways by which the heat can be transferred. One is by the molecular movement and the other one is by the free electrons. In case of crystal for example a diamond the thermal conductivity is very high. Now who is responsible for that because of the crystalline structure of the diamond. Now that is it in this topic. In this topic we talked about the basic mechanism of heat transfer. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.